Hello and welcome to Model Kit Stuff and today I have a product review for you which is the Edward Photo Etch upgrade set for the Airfix Austin K2Y Ambulance. This is a fairly new release from Edward, um, releasing a, a set that updates the Airfix K2 Ambulance. Now, if you've got an uh, Airfix kit, then they roughly cost around about five pounds less than the Gecko kit. Uh, there's been a lot of com conversation about which is best. Uh, for me, Airfix seem to have got the shape more correct than Gecko, but it's personal preference whether that bothers you or not. If you get the Airfix kit and then get the Edward Etch, um, the Edward Etch is going to cost you around about £20 in the UK, and that's therefore going to make it the most expensive option, whereas you do get some of this Etch in the kit with the Gecko. So uh, you take your, take your choices. Uh, some people will prefer the Gecko, People like myself will prefer the Airfix one, or should we say the Academy one. It's an Airfix kit, um, but manufactured on their behalf by Academy, uh, and they did um, the actual design of it for Airfix, but you can only get it from Airfix. So, as we look at this, it's the usual offering of a single... Uh, fold out sheet with the usual style instructions that we'll look at more closely in a moment. You get a single thread of photo etch and an acetate um, for um, some of the um, windows, I'm guessing, that are in the vehicle, right, to replace some of the uh, plastic molded parts, the clear plastic parts. So, what you get is one thread of etch, which is um, the usual sort of offering from Edward and a sheet of acetate. So let's have a look at our instructions and get a better understanding of what is covered. Always seem to have more covered than it looks when you look at the actual product. So we have a single A4 landscape format piece of paper that's printed in colour. Um, and you can see that we're dealing with the radiator first. And what they have provided is a single piece of etch rather than um, a piece of etch for each grill. And that makes it easier to form that. And they're suggesting that you might want to do that with a steel ball, um, which is a good way when you've got to get um, multiple directions um, of bend into your piece of etch. Um, then we've got some um, etch that's going on to this part here which I think is the rail for the um, stretchers. Um, then we have a modification to go in at the end there um, and we're having to remove some parts and put some parts on. Um, we've got loop legs um, replacing the plastic legs on the actual stretchers themselves which is a nice addition and some straps. So that will really enhance that. And then if you get the resin um, upgrade set that we reviewed recently with the um, with the blankets and the pillows, you can really go to town on that area then. Uh, we've got some more forming to do because we have a curved piece that goes um, from the ceiling down onto the uh, side walls there that the um, interior lights are mounted into. Um, so you're going to have to roll that to shape that's not a difficult process um, and you can see that we're also removing the um, air vents there uh, and replacing those with um, some etched parts um, i'm really pleased to see that we've got some uh, locker doors um, with um, handles and some form of locking mechanism because there is nothing on those in the in the kit they're just blank um, so that's that's for both of those uh, locker doors. Um, then on this 
piece that's going in the driver's cab where the spare wheel goes on, um, we're removing the moulded parts and replacing it with um, some photo etch. We can see there's a side profile there for how it's shaped. So um, you're not going to see a lot of that because you've got a, a seat in front of it and so on. But if you glance it, it's going to look right. So again, nice little addition. Um, they're telling you to replace the pedals with these, but to be honest, you could probably thin the pedal down and then just put it on top. That's probably what I would end up doing. Um, there's a tiny little handle going onto um, this. This is a grab handle on the inside of the roof by the looks of it. Um, and I'm not quite sure what that is, but it's going on the edge there. Not quite sure what that is. And if we turn over our instructions, uh, we can see we've got a locking mechanism for the top of the um, spare wheel there that perhaps wasn't covered off at all in the kit. Uh, we've got a little latch going on to the storage box, some details for the internal door. Um, so we're removing some bits from the internal door and then. Um, Right, we've got a little backing plate for the cushion which gives us some straps and some improved hinges for the drop down seat there. Um, grab handles and uh, various little details going in the interior sides there which is nice. And then we're dealing with the uh, vents and I said at the time the vents needed uh, to be improved with a little bit of photo etch rather than just moulded in shut. And it's nice to see that Edward have done that. We've got some acetate film that we can mount in there um, uh, so we can open them and, and so on. So very nice. We've got a photo etch um, fold down step to replace the um, uh, kit part, I'm guessing. Yeah, it replaces A16. And then we've got some treads, anti-slip treads, which go on top of the plastic kit parts. So combination of upgrading and replacing so we're covering some fairly basic stuff there but it's all stuff that's fairly visible so uh, let's have a look at our photo etch next so as we look at our photo etch we can see the grill is very nicely done um, we can see our replacement step part there and our interior light mounts with all the rivets on so that's going to add some nice detail it's quite a prominent feature our new air vent there um, various uh, those are our anti-slip stri uh, strips various straps um, that's the little thing going on the engine cover there or transmission cover yeah, so there is, there's not a huge amount in there, but it covers all the main stuff. The thing of all of it that I'm most excited about is being able to um, cover those um, boxes, which were completely featureless, and doing something with the uh, vents. So, yeah, very nice. Yeah, not bad at all. And then we've got our two little... Sorry, our uh, acetate thing, which has two different types A and B. I didn't see what B was for. Let me just look at the instructions again. Um, I missed that. Um, outside, so cut it inside. So we're doing some modifications to it. Film A goes on the outside piece. And then, okay, so it gets so much together. Oh, and then film B goes on the outside. Right, so you've got sliding glass. Okay, clever. Nicely done. So there you go. A quick and dirty look at Edward's um, item 36493, um, Austin K2Y ambulance in 1 to 35 scale for Airfix. Upgrade set. It's a nice little set that just gives you a few enhancements. I like it. 
Um, I'm going to couple that with some uh, resin uh, wheels to replace the ones that were in the kit and so the uh, resin pillows and blankets and now I feel I am ready to go.